All right, so I am going to talk about my two favorite things, the internet and learning, and how to bring them together to create online learning environment that is genuinely on fleek, or for those of you who are not big fans of the internet, on point. <laughs> so I work for an organization called the Story of Stuff Project. Woo! Thank you. We make short format online movies about where your stuff crumbs, your water bottle, your cell phone, your t-shirt, and all of the terrible, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad things it is doing to people and the planet. These stories have galvanized a network of people all over the globe who are telling us, I understand that there's a problem, I want to do something about it, but I have no flipping clue where to start. And so my work there has been to launch headlong into developing online training to think about how do you get people to flex their citizen muscles to create the kinds of changes that we need so desperately in our community. So I've been looking at the universe of online training, and I have to tell you, it is terribly bleak. And we have made a lot of these mistakes ourselves. We are not immune, but there are a lot of PDFs, a lot of multiple choice quizzes, and a lot of fill in the blank. So essentially, we are in the 21st century at the peak of technology and we are approaching in a way that is not much more advanced than Gutenberg. So I would like to suggest that we use this opportunity to think more creatively about how we might approach this field. And so here are two numbers. This is 2%. This is the average number of people who make it through a massive open online course. There is some debate about that. Some people say it's 2%. Some people say it's as high as 7%. Some people say it's as high as 10%. The next number I want to share with you is 1.43 billion. That is the amount of money that was invested in the landscape of online education in 2014. And I'm bringing this up not to throw the field under the bus, but to suggest that there's an incredible resource opportunity here. And so I want to look at what's working in the field of the internet. And we're in a moment where we are more connected than ever before. And whether we are talking about a Black Lives Matter hashtag that is connecting disparate moments of protest or a person online who's coming out as trans and creating community online in a way that isn't possible in their lived community. There is an incredible depth of connection that is happening online. When you talk about what's working, I like to say that what is happening is that we are conspiring together. And I'm talking about that word specifically because, call me a nerd, the Latin root means to breathe together. And so what we are doing is we are taking advantage of that which makes us more human to do something with technology. And so another example of what's working is Tinder. This is my new boyfriend. I met him on the internet that lives in my phone. So if, <laughs> if I can do something as improbable as fall in love using my phone, I think there are incredible opportunities here. And so here we live in a world that is, that is ablaze with technology. There is literally so much power in your back pocket and it's not being used properly or in, in, to the extent that it could be. And so imagine that you put on a set of headphones, you take to the streets of Oakland and you are able to access a geographically based tour of the genesis of the Black Panther Party in your neighborhoods. So now I want to offer kind of, I've thrown online learning under the bus, but now I want to kind of provide three different opportunities for us to think about it differently based on what we've learned and what I've seen in the field. And so the first thing that I want to say is take it to the streets. You have a phone that is more powerful than the computer that put a man on the moon. There are incredible things that allow you to get out of the computer lab. Go, be in the, among the people. Two, apply magic. When I look at what the release of the Beyonce album, digital album, did for creating an imperfect but amazing education on feminism for American culture, it's deeply powerful. The third thing I will say is make it a conversation. Look at what's happening with Minecraft. You have people creating, collaborating, developing whole worlds and servers and connecting in a way that is deeply powerful. So let us think about how we want to take it to the streets, how we can apply magic, how we can create conversation to do things that are incredibly important, like figure out how to create more justice, more equity, and God damn it, more joy. <laughs>